What we have here is one of the latest leaked Jelly Bean ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Having a build date of August 21st, it's pretty close to a final release, so we thought we should give it a try and share our impressions with the rest of you. Since the Galaxy S3 has always been quite a smooth performer, it's hard to see the effect from Project Butter. If you look really closely, you'll notice that a few UI animations are smoother now, like opening the app drawer or altering menu screens, but it's nothing really groundbreaking. A more prominent change is the inclusion of Google Now, which replaces S Voice. To launch it, you have to press and hold the menu button. You can ask Google Now pretty much everything you can ask the other virtual personal assistants. In response, you get a special card with what Google thinks is relevant information and voice feedback. If a suitable card is not available for your query, Google Now will initiate a Google search instead. What is the weather like in Los Angeles? Who is, who is the Prime Minister of Great Britain? Find me a pizzeria in Paris. The notification area has been redesigned as well. The status bar features a bigger clock and the date, while the notifications now let you interact with them in more ways, including expanding them to show more content. Automatically generated Google Now cards also appear here, showing you traffic and weather info for your current location. The settings menu has been reorganized so you'll find some important options quicker, like their lock screen customizations. There are a few new widgets, part of the new home screen mode, which Samsung dubbed Easy Mode. Targeted at first-time smartphone users, it brings less crowded widgets to your home screen, making it easier to navigate. And even if you aren't a first-time user, you can still make use of the two modes, as both of them are fully customizable. That way, you can have two different layouts that are easy to switch between, like for work and for home. Adding and moving widgets around the home screen has been improved as well. New widgets automatically resize if there's not enough space for them, while old ones will move out of the way. The S Memo app has been replaced with the new S Note Lite. It keeps the same interface and functionality, but brings on board a few new tricks as well. Unfortunately, Flash support is gone, as Adobe have removed the Flash Player app from the Play Store. Unless you manage to sideload it from somewhere, you won't be able to browse Flash content.